hey guys hi everyone my name is Lamo Ajoke welcome back to my youtube channel i'm so excited to be filming this it's been a long way coming if you are a returning subscriber i love you thank you so much and if you are just finding this video kindly click on the subscribe button so you can get updated on all my videos whenever i share new videos on snail farming so today guys i'm going to be showing you how you can grow snails using discarded tires i'm going to show you a step-by-step -step practical guide on how you can do this from the space in your backyard using the fulica snails fulica snails are snails that are mostly common during the rainy season you see it in your garden they are basically like pets so it's something that you can wear for personal consumption using discarded tires i'm going to show you how to do that right away so to set up your snail farm using discarded tires you need some items the first you'll be needing is your treated pure loamy soil. So this soil has been treated, it has been sieved. You can see that it is smooth and it is free of um, any kind of predators. Now, after that, you'll also be needing your calcium. Your calcium could be your snail shell, it could be your eggshell. This is one of our products at the farm. This is the snail shell calcium. It is very good to grow giant snails after that you also be needing your mulching materials so your mulching materials could be dry leaf and it could also be fresh leaf these are fresh mango leaves they have been treated i prefer to use fresh mango leaves because um it has a longer lifespan and this can literally stay in your pen for two months all right so you also be needing your discarded tires so we are currently washing the discarded tires over here. Now, you have to wash your discarded tires. You wash it properly to be sure that it is free of all kinds of predators. You, after you have mapped out the area you want to use for your backyard new farm, then the next thing is to stack up the tire. So, I'll be using this particular spot just for this practical purpose. Uh, my area is prone to soja ant. I'm also going to show you how... I'm going to apply black oil here. So the next thing I'm going to do is to move my soil into these discarded tires. All right. So uh, please, can you assist me? Let's move this together. So okay, that's okay. Then you get your hand shovel. Just to ensure that. Um, you lay it properly then the next thing you are going to do is to introduce your calcium so we have this available in the farm for 3600 per kg if you need 100 percent recycled calcium for your snails these were produced from snail shells so it is very safe for them it helps them to grow strong and it helps to grow bigger meats. So just ensure that um, you move it in evenly because snails also feed on the soil. So once they feed on the soil, they will also feed on the calcium. You can add more if you want. So this process, you can use it to grow Ida fulica or achatina marginata. So I have some fulica snails I'll be using for this practical, just about six of them, because I don't really I don't farm fulica for commercial purpose. So now that my soil is settled, I'm going to stack up another tire. All right, and I'm going to stack up another tire again. So I'm using three tires for this purpose so this is to enable my snail to move around and play and you know just ensure them that um, they are enjoying themselves here then the next thing i'm going so the next thing now is just for you to add water to the soil and you turn it so i already had a small quantity of water my soil is kind of moist before, so and I don't want it to be 
water load. So I just added small water and then you stir evenly. You stir it, allow it to go in, and this is this is looking good already, right? So after that, you are going to introduce your snails. So you can use this method to grow Achatina marginata. You can use it to grow Achatina fulica. So for this practical purpose, I'm going to be using just six fulica snails. And each of these snails can produce 400 eggs. So if you have, let's say, 30 pieces in this so 400 times 30, that's the numbers of snails you are expected to have at the end of eight months. But you should also take into consideration that some snails might, might die, all right? That's just um, the normal philosophy of life. Not all your snails will survive, but ensure that you uh, maintain a good farm hygiene and give your snails the right food they need to grow. So if you do all of those, you should be fine. So, I'm introducing the snails now. So, just six of this fully cut. This is what I have for my practical. <laughs> then, your mulching material. Like I said, this could be dry or fresh leaves. So, it has already been sterilized. Just move it into the pen. So you might be wondering, okay, what am I going to use to cover the tire and all of those? This is what you need to cover your tire. You cover it like this. And then you raise two blocks or stone, something that is very strong. To suppress this so that the weight of the snails do not remove the basket as the snail grow bigger they tend to have more weight so just in case if you have more than six snails or you have bigger snails just ensure that you put something that is very very strong on top of this basket so that they don't yes. escape and when you start having baby snails you might have to change this because this is open so baby snails can come out of this place do you understand so you have to just improvise on what you can use to cover the tires so this is what i'm going to do and so with this your snail farm is set if you'll be trying this from the free space in your backyard, let me know in the comment section. And if you have tried it and it's working, kindly drop a comment as well so that we'll know that we are learning on this YouTube page. So, your snail farm is ready using discarded tires. So this is what the um, discarded tire snail pen look like after setting up and... You can tell that they're already loving it here the snails are active they are all out and yeah i'm covering it back thank you for watching kindly subscribe to this youtube channel for more videos on snail farming